So it, it I'm, a, I'm a nerd, that's why I'm talking to you. Um, so it, it is a complicated answer, right? Uh, because evil, it, it will lead you to ethics and ethics are even complicated. So if we take a look at um, a denotative definition of evil, what the hell, Chris? Meaning, what interface most embodies these principles that I have laid out to you? High contrast red on black and, and pointy. Um, I think uh, the Klingon bird of prey that is captured by the protagonists in Star Trek Four. Isn't that the one called the Voyage Home, the Return Home? Can't remember the title. Um, but that entire bridge that they have captured from the Klingons is high contrast red on black. Denotatively, it is the most evil or exemplary of those patterns. However, if you take a look at a utilitarian ethics perspective, you would have to say, well, what interface has done the most harm to the most people deliberately? That would be a utilitarian evil. Um, and I would say that the, the tempting answer is the infinity gauntlet, because of course it has the broadest scope and it just arbitrarily killed half the living creatures in the universe. Um, but I don't think it's clear in the film that that is the only use for this interface, even though that's the only use that Thanos had gone to sort of uh, construct it. So I'm not going to say it is the infinity gauntlet, even though it does the most damage. Um, no, for, for my money, I think the thing that does the most deliberate damage um, is the Star Killer base from the Star Wars universe, um, right? That was the that was the one where they were like, "Oh, you remember that old film where we had a planet-sized weapon? Well, now it's a planetar-sized weapon, um, but instead of killing one planet, it kills five at once." Um, but that is a significant amount of evil that occurs all at once. It does the most damage to the most people. And even in that context, um, they're, they're, the First Order is destroying the Federation or the, uh, the Senate, um, which you would imagine is a force for good in the world. So uh, that is probably the most evil sci-fi interface uh, based on that utilitarian exit. Um, but when we, when we turn and ask that same question of the real world, it gets more complicated. Um, partially because if you find things that sort of signal that they are evil and they're corporate, um, it's more like a bad boy branding. So like Monster Energy or I forget those headphones with the sort of spiky logo on the side. Um, but those are, those are more like the brand promise of don't fuck with me, but they're not really advocating evil. I think if you're going to try and find uh, like, okay, Maybe if you go into like a gun catalog where they're like trying to valorize gun usage without acknowledging any, oh, skull candy, thank you, Greg, um, without sort of acknowledging all the problems that like America has with its gun laws and its, its gun nuttery, that's, that's a pretty firm version of evil. But uh, they also signal it, which is an honest signaling thing, right? Honest signals aren't that dangerous. You just have to learn them and know what to do with an honest signal. It's the dishonest signals that are really troubling. Um, I think it was Eleanor who had written like her first thought, Facebook, um, right? And that interface paints itself as uh, not only benign, but like good for you. You are engaging with your social network through that interface, but the consequences of it require you to step out of that interface and think about, well, what's the effect of this on misinformation delivery? And are they optimizing merely for fury or happiness rather than what is good? Um, so it is those brands and those interfaces that try, well, they, they all try and signal friendliness, I think, um, but and, and don't give any hint about the ultimate consequence of their use uh, that, that really trouble me. And I'm not going to say Facebook's the most evil. I think um, I know several people who work there and I think they try really hard, but some of the choices that are made from how that operates and what its effect is need some rethinking.